you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how to improve brain performance at work. My name is Jonathan Kemp, and I'm the creator of Smart Wisdom, a next generation note-taking technique. I've been helping experienced professionals and people studying at university for the last 25 years, helping them to manage knowledge more effectively in the workplace or when studying. So, when talking about improving brain performance at work, I'm going to refer specifically to meetings because that's one of the areas where people are managing knowledge and really having to use their brain all the time. Before I actually go and give you the top tips, and there are going to be four of them, I want to give you two brain facts. The first fact is sh about short-term memory. So the human being has a capacity limit on its short-term memory, and that's roughly seven plus or minus two facts. And once more facts come in, then some of the existing facts are going to have to leave. The second key fact about the second key fact about the brain is around cognitive load. And what I mean about cognitive load is the amount or the number of brain activities we can do at any point in time. So memory is an activity, listening is an activity, looking at something is an activity. And the more you can hone down on doing just one activity, the better the brain's performance. Now, taking those facts and applying them to a meeting scenario, because without application, that those facts are just interesting, but to make them really useful, I'm now gonna apply them to a meeting scenario. So tip number one is preparation. Really simple. When you go into a meeting, um, just before the meeting, doesn't have to be very long before, try and write down all the key points that you either want to ask about or that you want to remember to tell people about. Now, if you're really busy, then just write down the top three things. And regardless, then once you've written things down, identify the top number one item that you want to cover. By doing this, you take off pressure from your working memory because all the information is put externally. So when you go into the meeting, you can really focus on and listen to other people. Top tip number two is again really simple and it's around technology. And I'm going to be looking at one piece of technology which is the mobile phone. Now if you leave the mobile phone on, what happens is your brain is going to start to try and do two mental activities. Um, particularly if you're being distracted by the phone. So you're trying to look at what's being sent to you or the messages you see and you're trying to listen at the same time. The consequence of that is you're going to start doing neither of them particularly well. It's also distracting for everyone else as well. So my top tip there is wherever you can, turn your mobile off. Simple yet very effective. Tip number three is take proactive notes. Now what I mean by that is you don't write down everything you hear, but you are very selective about what you do record. And the moment you record something, remember you're releasing pressure from your short-term memory. So the things that I would recommend recording are your questions, any ideas, because they come and go really fast, and any action points. Those would be the key things that I would always record, regardless if you've got a minute taker. The other information that I would always recommend recording are the key facts which are important to you personally. And again, maybe just key headings and key subheadings, that's all you need to do to release the pressure from your brain and get all the information from your short-term memory out externally on a piece of paper. My final uh, top tip, so tip number four, is at the end of the meeting, it's again really simple, is to do a summary. Now why is this really powerful? This is powerful because what it does, it demonstrates to everyone else that you have been listening, you have been paying attention, and you really want to understand what's being said. But from a personal point of view, the power comes in that it helps your brain to assimilate the information. So by talking it back, helps your brain to assimilate and also helps you maybe spot things that you might not have spotted. So the key things to do a summary on could be the key facts and the decisions made. The secondary benefit
benefit of this is your long-term memory as well. So it will help to improve long-term memory and certainly if you have been recording that key information when you go back to it, your ability to recall it will be much easier, much faster. So those are my four top tips. Number one, preparation. Number two, with technology, turn it off where you can. Number three, take proactive notes. And four, make a summary. All of those will help to boost your brain's performance real time in a meeting when you're working with clients and colleagues. Superb. So if you've enjoyed this uh, video and you found it helpful, then please do you know, like it. Uh, feel free to share it with clients and colleagues and also to comment. That would be amazing.